Welcome to Finding Quadratic Functions Using the Graphing Calculator. We're going to, in this video, find quadratic functions from, first, graphs, and secondly, from tables. Now we have to ask ourselves the question, what is needed to find a quadratic function? Well, we need at least three points. And so from this graph, we're going to find three points, identify them. First we have 1, 240. The second point is 2, 210. And the third point is 5, 0. Now the next step is that we're going to place these x and y coordinate values in table form. The x values under the x column, the y values under the y column. Then we're going to go to our graphing calculator and press the STAT key. And from the STAT menu, we have Edit, and we press Enter. And then we get this view. And here we're going to enter our three points. Again, the X values under L1, the Y values under L2. And then we're going to press the Zoom 9 choice. And we see that our three points now appear in graph form. Now the next thing we're going to do is go to STAT CALC and from here we're going to run a quadratic regression to find the formula, the function that fits the three points that we've entered under L1 and L2 in our graphing calculator. Now what we do is we after we have this view, we press enter, and this gives us our function. And from here, we need to transcribe this function, which is negative 10x squared, and essentially b is 0, and c is 250. It's going to be negative 10x squared plus 250. But we're going to have the calculator pasted in to y1. And so what you do first is go to the y equals view, and from here you press the VARS key, which is between the program and clear key on your calculator, and then you're going to have this menu. From this menu, you go down to 5, statistics, press enter, and then you arrow twice to the right to the equation view, and then you press enter, and you have at this point the quadratic regression that your calculator determined is pasted under Y1 and from here you press the graph key and you can see that the curve does indeed go through the three points and we can do further things at this point to check the validity of the function. The first thing we can do is press the trace key and after pressing the trace key we need to arrow up once to get to our function and then we can arrow to the right and here we've arrowed close to four seconds and we can see a height at four seconds of close to 88 meters and the next thing we can do is we can press second then graph and see a table view and in the table view we can see that the points 1 comma 240 2 comma 210 and 5 comma 0 are in fact here, proving the validity of the function. And finally, we can press second, then trace, and value. And what we could do with this menu is we can evaluate particular values of x to see what the height would be. And here if we enter 2.5 and press enter, we can see that at 2.5 seconds, the object is 187.5 meters from the ground. Now we're going to go ahead and look at a table view. Now just looking at the table view, there is nothing in a table view that tells me, even as experienced as I am as an algebra teacher, I just don't see it. It doesn't speak to me like a graph does. And so what we need to do is get this into graphical form. And this is how we do it. We do essentially what we did before. We press the STAT key and enter 
and we can enter our five points in under L1 and L2 and here we've done it. Now from here we're going to go to press zoom 9 and zoom 9 shows us our five points. Now having the five points visible to us we're going to find the equation that fits those five points by pressing STAT and then arrowing once to the right to CALC and then we go down the quadratic regression. Now we have to ask ourselves why did we choose a quadratic regression? We look at this and we can trace a line. This orange line is a parabola so it looks like a parabola or a quadratic function. And secondly it has an axis of symmetry and so what this tells us and now we have a view looking at other possibilities a cubic regression, quartile regression, a linear regression, logarithmic regression, ex exponential regression but we should have some confidence after having visually seen the points from the table plotted in graphical form that it is a parabola and that quadratic regression stat 5 calc 5 would be our correct choice and so we press enter and enter again and we have our equation this c value is is 1 times 10 to the negative 12 power which is 1 quadrillionth essentially it's 0 and so we have y equals negative 2x squared plus 5x. We're going to transcribe that formula into y equals, but again we're going to have the calculator paste it. Why? Because having the calculator do it avoids mistakes. Mistakes of misreading, mistakes of transcription. They are easy to make. And so we press the VARS key again and we get this view. We go down to statistics, press enter, we go to the right for equation, press enter again, and we have pasted the function into y1. And from here we see the rooftop 2, and what that means, it means negative 2x to the power of 2. That rooftop 2 means to the power of 2, like squared. And then we graph it, and we can see visually that the function goes through the 5 points, or very close to them, and further, we can go to the trace menu, arrow up one to get to the right, to get to the curve. And here we go over the right, close to uh, the value of four, we get negative 11.6 for the y value. And so we can then go to second trace and value, and we can put x equals four and we see that y equals negative 12 for x equals 4 and finally we can go to second graph to find the table mode and we can check one by one the points that are input for us. First of all we see that 2 comma 2 is there we see that 3 comma negative 3 is there we see that 5 comma negative 25 is there and we can scroll up and see that negative 3 comma negative 33 is there we can see that negative 1 comma negative 7 is there. So all our five points are there. We've seen it different ways. Check. We're absolutely certain that we're right. We've done it three ways. We've seen it visually. Now we're going to summarize this video. The first step is you need to find at least three points and put them in a table form if they're not in table form already. The second thing you need to do is put the two columns from the table under L1 and L2 in the stat edit view. The third thing we need to do is run the quadratic regression by pressing STAT CALC 5, then ENTER. And the last thing we need to do is enter the found equation in Y equals, and then check it against the data. First visually, then we can use the trace, we can use the table mode, we can do many things to make sure that we are right. So we hope you've enjoyed this video. We look forward to seeing you back to learn more about using your graphing calculator.